All right, everyone, you remember the Mueller investigation? Uh, some of you probably don't because there hasn't been much news on it lately other than a few uh, overly optimistic posts by some, like, uh, you know, d Democrat partisan and, uh, like, never Trump style uh, media rags. You know, the legacy media, the true core of the idiot establishment. They still occasionally say, oh, may maybe Mueller is about to indict Trump. Trump is about, Dolan Drumph, he's about to be impeached. Of course, it's not going to happen. Uh, the Mueller investigation. Ultimately, long ago, I think, decided, hey, Trump is blameless in all this, but we can go after people. You know, it's a general investigation at this point, and here's the thing. Now the net has widened, and he's going after Tony Podesta. You know, you'll remember him as Skippy's brother. So now Tony Podesta is being uh, investigated for his potential Russian connections as well. Uh, when last I checked, Pony, uh, Tony Podesta was not Donald Trump. Neither, by the way, were uh, Paul Manafort or any of the other people actually named on a regular basis within their proceedings. Like when they come out and make a statement, oh yeah, here's the, here's the new, you know, sort of skinny on what we're doing. Well, we can tell you because some of it's probably classified, you know, blah, blah, Paul Manafort, blah, blah, Tony Podesta, blah, blah. Who's notably absent from that group? The one person that the Democrats want to focus on is the one person that's never mentioned. Why do you think that is? It's because they don't have shit on Donald Trump. He doesn't have any undue ties to Russia. Here's the problem. The Mo Russia narrative was a cover for the DNC leaks. A DNC employee leaked a bunch of shit to WikiLeaks. They went completely haywire because they realized, hey, we were dumb, uh, we were inept, and oh shit, the cat's out of the bag. Now our dirty laundry is going to be aired out there. We'd better blame Russia because it's a convenient thing to do. And we know that Trump does have technically Russian ties. He's been a businessman all of his life. So yeah, he's got investors who are Russian. Now, when did they say it's part of a vast Australian conspiracy because Trump has done business with Australians? It's a vast Indian conspiracy. Trump has like a skyscraper in Bangalore or whatever, and he takes investment from Indian investors. They never talk about these things. India, Australia, the UK, it doesn't matter. If Trump is so easily controlled by business investments, which are mundane because at the time he was not in a political capacity and never had been, nor had he ever actively sought a political capacity, he was a private citizen, predominantly a business developer, someone who makes skyscrapers, condos, and golf clubs. That's, uh, you know, the golf club, like clubs where you go golfing. I don't mean, uh, never mind, you know what I mean. Uh, he was a private citizen while doing that. If he was so easily controlled, wouldn't you be worried about all the other investors from other countries? No, you, you apparently those don't matter. Only the Russian ones matter. Or people, maybe Kazakh or uh, Belarusian or something. That's all they care about. But Trump's never mentioned because they don't have shit on him. Tony Podesta, those mentioned. Paul Manafort is mentioned. Now, Paul Manafort, again, it's an old Reaganite dude. He'd probably have, ideologically speaking, probably would have been a never Trumper. Uh, at various moments. These are the people that apparently are in bed with Russia, allegedly, or at least they're investigating the possibility. Here's something you need to know, though. To people on the left, you're going to look like total fools if you now backstab Mueller and say, oh, he was a Russian plant all along, evil Russian agent for going after someone who's basically he's a partisan Democrat. The Podestas are right in bed directly with Clinton. John Podesta, her campaign manager, his brother is the one now being investigated, it seems, by Mueller. So you're going to look stupid if you say, well, we knew all along, it's just a, he must be far right, he's a Republican hack, Trump has muddied the investigation, is now blackmailing him. You're going to look so dumb if you make that argument. Meanwhile, to people who are Trump fans, this doesn't include all Republicans at this point, don't uh, don't assume that Mueller is your friend or your ally. No, he's just another government bureaucratic sort of nightmarish dystopian dude. That being said, it looks like both sides are ready to turn him into the next James Comey. Are we going to get one of those situations where depending on what Mueller is investigating in any given week, the left and right switch off and take turns hating or loving him? Oh yeah, Mueller's such a great guy. Come here, I want to buy you a drink, man. You're like a fucking hero. Oh, I fucking hate you, Mueller. You're such an asshole. Is that what's going to happen? Because you did that to Comey. And even though Comey's shitty, uh, I felt sorry for the dude and sort of still do. He got all sorts of pooped on by the liberals, by the conservatives, by Trump's fans, by his critics, by Clinton's fans, by her critics. Nobody likes Comey and I feel fucking sorry for the dude. 
on a deep personal level like even even if we assume he's got like corruption in his heart still to be treated that way i mean come on at least go after him for something legit and don't constantly fucking change your mind but that's the way I think the Mueller investigation is going to go. It's going to drag out for a long time. You'll hear less and less and less about it from the legacy media, more and more oddly about it from the, like a lot of people, alt media, they're reporting on it. You know, they've spent months. The only thing they've ever said about Mueller is, oh, well, he's a deep state agent trying to destroy Trump. And I'm like, well, the investigation's not going to do anything. It's, it can't be some deep state op because I don't expect there to be any meaningful result. At most, they get Manafort. It maybe he goes to jail for a little while. Maybe they apparently Tony Podesta or somebody. It's not going to touch Donald Trump because he doesn't have any, uh, any bad connections with Russia. He's not controlled by the Russians. The connections that people used as evidence of his supposed collusion with the Russians where basically, hey, parts of his campaign team talked to some Russians. He conducted normal meetings with Putin via phone, which they do at presidential candidates. You don't want them to conduct diplomacy? That was always the dumbest of all. Or business deals from years ago involving Russia. But he has those deals with people who aren't Russian. He probably has taken way more investment from the UK than he's ever going to get from Russia. Hell, he's probably got an investment amounting to a substantial proportion of the fucking Russian economy from some of these places. India, Brazil, some of these places that are up and developing, where they really, really want you to put up that skyscraper because they're running out of room in every urban area. Uh, yeah, governments and, and private firms and everyone wants to throw money at Trump because they know if he slaps his name on something, look, here, a lot of people in urban areas, because urban areas tend to be more liberal in the U.S., it's not the way it is in the undeveloped or developing world, by the way. You can get a neoconservatism in those areas, maybe. Not so much the really fringe left in many cases. In fact, you might get more religiosity in some cultures, oddly. Here's the thing. In those other countries, they don't care if it has Trump's name on it. Other than they know Trump's a rich dude who happens to currently be the most powerful man in the world. Yeah, they want to invest in his properties. Yeah, if Trump's name is on him, it doesn't matter if Trump himself controls the corporation anymore and he doesn't directly. He just gets like generic reports that anyone else can get now at this point because he's put it in like blind trust or whatever the hell it's called. Uh, and his kids run it. They're Trump's too. So it's a big money name. Yeah, people want to invest. I would love to. Back in, you know, whatever era of time, if I heard, yeah, Donald Trump's putting up a bunch of apartments, he's, you know, he's allowing people to invest and then they get a return. Y you better believe I would have invested and I would have done quite well doing so. That's the whole point. That's why he solicits the money to get things built very quickly, slaps his brand on them, basically, turns around, rents them off, pays back the investors, and then he sits there collecting rent the rest of his life. Yeah, that's how what he does. It's how he's made a fortune. Of course, it's involved Russians. Of course it has. It's involved British people and Australian people and Japanese people. That's not collusion. That's just investment. It's the way the business world works. That's like saying some U.S. investors invested in something that a Russian firm was building. It means that we've begun controlling the Russian political process. It's not the way that it works. Ultimately, Trump Inc. is a multinational firm. That's the real funny part. I don't even like multinational firms, but that is the normal manner of business. It's just the way it is. When Mueller goes after Tony Podesta, is this not an admission? Hey, Mueller's not actually doing but, but fuck anything about Trump because he's already realized Trump didn't collude with anyone. How, what does Tony Podesta have to do with Donald Trump? They couldn't be more opposite one another, at least on an ideological spectrum. Supposedly, according to the legacy media, Trump is, is further right than anyone has ever been in the world. Now, that's not actually true. He's a business Democrat, so almost you could imagine a connection with like the Clintons, the Podestas, at least through business contracts. Is that where Mueller is going? Because guess what? If that were the case, no Republican and no Democrat would ever want it coming to light. They would both crack down on that investigation. You'd never know the result. So it wouldn't even matter. If that's actually the case, if Trump has dirty dealings through some Democrats with Russia, you're never going to hear about it. Doesn't matter how substantial it is. Wouldn't matter if he took a billion bucks from Putin himself. You're never going to hear about it for political reasons. Not that I believe that that's true, but you know. But yeah, he's going after Tony Podesta. Tony Podesta, brother of John Podesta, campaign manager for Hillary herself. You know, a shitty campaign. Uh, that's not 
Donald Trump, but don't get your panties in a wad and start doing that Comey thing where you're like, oh, today Mueller's great, tomorrow Mueller's terrible. We love Mueller, we hate Mueller. Mueller is the devil, Mueller is like Jesus incarnate. Just uh, everyone, just avoid doing that. It's just totally nonsensical. That's about all. Peace out.